Hello everyone, I'm Detective Brandy George with the Mesa Police Department. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with information about an officer involved shooting that occurred here in Mesa. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about evidence and police procedures related to this case so you can better understand what happened based on what we know right now. Mesa Police Department conducts thorough use of force investigations. Typically, investigators interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. These investigations take time to complete, which means things could change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. This video will not draw any conclusions about whether these officers acted consistent with our policy until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. In this video, we will be sharing our officers' body-worn camera videos, as well as 911 calls and any other surveillance video obtained as part of this investigation. We do want to warn you, anytime a police officer uses force, the images and information can be graphic disturbing and difficult to watch, and the video may contain strong language. Viewer discretion is strongly advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Detective Richard Encinas with the Mesa Police Department's Media Relations Unit. On February 17th at around 2.43 a.m., a Mesa police officer was monitoring an avert camera system at Alma School and Main Street in Mesa. While monitoring the camera, he observed two men who appeared to be arguing in the parking lot of the Circle K. One of the men pulled out a gun. Here is a radio call from the officer monitoring the overt camera. I got a subject at the bus stop 1145 West Main with the possible 422. Copy. Looked like he was arguing with another male and went into the store. And he's outside uh, waiting at the bus stop. Is he holding the 422? Is it holster? Or? No, it looks like he's got it in his right hand. Looks like he's waiting for that subject to come out of the circle, okay? The officer monitoring this incident kept the camera on the man with the gun. That man, later identified as Ringo Van Winkle, was standing by the bus stop talking to two people and waving a gun around. After a few moments, Van Winkle, Van Winkle can be seen running into the intersection of Alma School and Main, where he stands in the middle of the street and fire several rounds from his gun in a northwest direction. After firing his gun in the intersection, Van Winkle runs back to the sidewalk and walks eastbound on Main Street when the first officer arrives and calls for him to get on the ground and drop his weapon. This is when the officer-involved shooting occurs. Here is the footage of the first officer's body worn Get on the ground now! as he arrives at the scene. Get on the ground! Drop it! Where's he at? Where's he at? He's down right there. Down right there. Stop right here. 998. Do not move! Do not move! You will get shot again! Let's go to your car. Back door. Stay down! Van Winkle falls to the ground and officers put together an immediate action team to approach him and take him into custody. Officers continue to ask Van Winkle to show his hands and fire a less lethal beam bag round. Hands! Put your hands up front! Other hand! Matt, Move are you going to take it? You. I'm going to send a bean bag. As they approach, he reaches his left hand toward his waistband, and that's when another officer deploys a taser, and the first officer fires his rifle. Don't move! Once secured, officers begin life-saving measures. Medical personnel arrived and took Van Winkle to the hospital where he was pronounced deceased. During the investigation, a handgun was recovered near Van Winkle. At this point in the investigation, we know that one officer fired a total of four rounds with his rifle. 
He has been with the department for seven years, and this is his second officer-involved shooting. The officer that fired a less lethal beanbag round has been with the department for five years. The officer that deployed his taser has been with the department for five years. All of the information and evidence in this case will be presented to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for review. Thank you for taking the time to watch this critical incident community briefing.